In this tutorial, we are going to go through number bonds to 20. Number bonds to 20. Now, the best way to do this is using the number line. We've got a printed copy over here. A number line is just a straight line going from left to right. In this case, we have started from 0, 1, 2, 3, and we've gone all the way to 20. You can draw this by hand very easily. Now, if we're doing number bonds to 20, how do we work this? Let's run through a simple example. What is something added to 5 gives 20? We've got 5 plus something equals 20. So how do we use the number line? 20 is where we have to finish. 5, this is the number that's given to us, is where we start. So we start at number 5. Let's put a little dot over here. So we're starting at 5. We have to finish all the way here, 20. So how many jumps do we have to make to get to 20? So let's go through this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That is our answer. 5 plus 15 equals 20. And this is how the number line works. It is very simple and a fantastic resource to use. Let's just change colors and try a different example. Let's write it here. In this case, we've got something plus 12 equals 20. Something plus 12 equals 20. Again, it's another plus question. Where do we have to end up? It is 20. Let's put a dot here for 20. Where do we start? We start at number 12. So let's put a dot over here. So how many jumps do we have to make from 12 to get to our answer of 20? Well, let's go through this. I'll just do it this way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And that is the answer. 8 plus 12 equals 20. We started at number 12, we had to finish at 20, and we made 8 jumps. 8 plus 12 equals 20. Nice and easy, wasn't it? Now, can we use the number line for minus questions when we are doing number bonds to 20? Well, let's change colors again. And let's work through an example. Right down here, number three. So what is, what if you have 20 minus something equals 12? 20 minus something equals 12. Now what we do here is that we start at number 20. It's a minus question, so we look at the first one. It is 20. It's minus, so we are going backwards. Remember, if it's plus, we go if it's plus, we go that way. If it is minus, we go that way. Minus means we go backwards. We're counting backwards. What number do we finish at? We finish at number 12. So let's put a dot here. Number 12. So how many jumps do we have to make? from 20 to get to 12, which is our answer. Well, let's go through this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That is our answer. 
20 minus 8 equals 12. We started at 20. It's a minus question. So we went backwards. What number did we have to finish at? 12. That's number 12. How many jumps did we make? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 20 minus 8 equals 12. Now let's change colors for one more example. Let's write it here. 20 minus something equals 9. 20 minus something equals 9. Now remember, it's a minus question. And remember from question 3, what do we do? We start at number 20. So let's put a, a dot over here. We are going minus. We are doing minus, so therefore we are counting backwards. What number shall we stop counting? We stop counting at number 9. So let's find number 9. There we go. So that is number 9. We're starting at 20 and we're going to finish at number 9. 20 minus something equals 9. So how many jumps do we have to make to get to 9? So let's go through this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And that is our answer. 20 minus 11 equals 9. So the answer we were looking for was 11. Now it is important when we are doing number bonds to 20 that you know the matching sequence of numbers. For example, what number from added to 6 gives 20? Well, you can count all of them. It's actually 14. Once you practice with a number line and you know how to do plus and you know how to do minus, it is important to start to memorize all the numbers that add up to 20. For example, what number added to 12 gives 20? It's 8. What number added to 9 gives 20? It's 11. In fact, we can write them all down here to make it even easier. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. We start here. Oh, we forgot to put 20. We start here and we work and we count backwards. So that is number bonds to 20. Use the number line first until you get the complete hang of how two numbers together make 20. Once you've done that, begin to memorize these numbers. And that is number bonds to 20.